one on YouTube and welcome back to my channel and this time um, as you probably read the title uh, I'm going to show you how to create a um, bed room on your uh, with Maya using Maya um, also um, I want you to excuse excuse me for my English yeah uh, sometimes my, my English is not that smooth and uh, apologize for that um, so let's begin uh, first um, you better create some project uh, folder for this scene so click on project window uh, click on new give it a name as bedroom and accept it and um, I've already done it so after you do, uh, did this uh, you go over set project and you should go over your um, documents okay over your documents and then go over Maya and project and you will find your uh, your bedroom folder so choose it and click on set and we are ready to go um, another thing is that those wireframes are a bit messy so uh, if you like to smooth them you can go over this tab shading and check the smooth wireframe so they will look uh, better um, it's also applying for the polygons itself so <coughs> it will help you to see things better um, okay so at first we are going to create a cube um, I'm I'm not using uh, the interactive uh, creation so when I'm clicking on this uh, cube it will automatically will add a cube to the scene uh, press 5 to give it some solid color and use your scale tool to scale it to something that looks uh, um, enough for a size of a room um, we will bring it with the move tool above the grid and what I want you to do now is um, we want to create a window and maybe door entry for this room so um, we are going to use the boolean difference uh, method for this and as first at first we are going to choose uh, we are going over this tab over here and make sure that you are on polygons and go over edit mesh and make sure that you have a V sign uh, where it says keep faces together after that um, we will um, go over shading and choose x-ray so uh, now everything in the scene is transparent and we need it just to determine how much thickness we are going to add to this uh, cube so actually what's going on inside is an empty space inside the cube and there is only one uh, layer of a wall what appears to be the wall for this room and we want to make it uh, more thick so um, to give it some more thickness and what how we're going to do it we are going to choose the extrude once and if you don't see the extrude it should be in the polygons okay and then we will get this um, arrows so uh, you can pull the blue arrow out a bit and then you can see that we are uh, creating like a new cube but it's the same cube just extruded and I want the size of my walls to be like this so maybe a bit more okay um, yeah that's fine uh, that looks better and then we can turn off the x-ray and maybe tap on f8 to bring this to back to object mode and um, um, maybe i will uh, explain something um, um, when you see a green uh, wireframes on your object that means that you are in object mode and if I will choose, if I right click on the object and choose v faces or either v vertex, vertices, um, 
then it will uh, appear as bluish uh, lines, wireframes. So uh, that means that we are in manipulating mode and um, it will... Uh, you can uh, start manipulate those faces or vertices and actually when we want to concentrate on the all, all uh, object um, we want to bring it back to object mode so object mode also appear here if you right click but um, it will unselect the object and then you will have to ch select it uh, again so if you don't want to use this uh, object mode um, you, you, uh, this way so you can tap on F8 once or twice so it will bring bring it back to the object mode so that's about the um, object mode and manipulating mode and let's keep on um, now I want to create another cube and therefore I will need, probably need to move this aside for a moment and we are going to create a new cube and scale it to the size of a window okay so um, we are going to use the booleans uh, difference um, method to create this window and therefore I'm creating something that will be in the size of a window but much more bigger um, and then we will apply this uh, boolean difference uh, to it so it will uh, create a hole a hole in the, our uh, bedroom wall so just I will show you how to do this first of all just uh, bring the window inside the room and make sure that in both sides yeah, you have some uh, piece out um, as I told you before this is an empty space in it here it's an empty space um, so now when it's positioning like this you can turn off your x-ray and choose first choose the bedroom itself the bedroom uh, walls and shift select your window and then go over mesh if you don't see it make sure you are at polygons go over mesh booleans and difference all right so after you done it you can see that we created a, a new window to our room so it's only the frame we if you like you can create a window now from it or whatever um, I just want uh, I wanted to, to uh, give it a hole as like a window and that's it um, also you can maybe create a new cube and then create a door entry for this uh, bedroom so let's see if it's let's see if it's uh, it's matching the size of the room uh, it's a bit bigger but not that bad maybe maybe like so like so yeah that's that's better um, it should be the in at the high of the upper uh, line of the window uh, but not always uh, it's not always like that uh, so now I will um, one moment I have a Skype message um, no, no okay so um, we're going to move this cube over here and we want the we want the door to be like this but there is another thing we need to focus on and this is the inner side of the of our room um, you should look on the floor and it's not at the same level high uh, height of this of this piece here it's not the same piece and therefore it's not in, at the same height so if I will turn on the x-ray for a moment you can see that's what I'm talking about uh, we need to focus on the 
the inner part uh, surface um, which is uh, our uh, floor and bring this door entry uh, same as the window inside the some piece outside the, the, the bedroom walls and some piece inside but we also want it to be at the same level as the inner cube okay so if you like to see it better you can use the four view over here and then put your mouse curse over one of those side window um, and tap on your spacebar to enlarge it and then we will use the inner line of the floor uh, and we will put the door entry at the same level as uh, our floor alright so that's that's okay and um, now if you like to go back to perspective mode uh, view you should uh, tap on the spacebar and then put your mouse cursor over the perspective view and choose the and tap on the spacebar again once and that's fine like this let's turn off the x-ray and choose our room walls okay um, you probably want to modify go modify for the room uh, walls and center the pivot because after we created the window the pivot uh, has gone mad it's not positioning uh, right so we have to center it and then select the room walls shift select the door entry and choose mesh booleans and difference and that's much more better okay so as you can see now we have a door entry um, but there's some sort of a problem over here uh, that should be the entry and we don't actually need it uh, we can somehow delete it and maybe um, maybe we will want to um, fill this hole again um, okay so um, what we are going to do is we are going to experiment uh, something we are going to uh, right click on that and choose vertices and then choose only those two vertices for it here and here and we will use the move tool to bring it like this and as you can see it's like creating a new layer I'm not sure why so undo that and um, there is still a new piece here that we don't really need um, I will click on the edge and delete this edge and also here and here I will delete those edges and maybe now if I'll if I'll take this edge and use the move tool so I will somehow fix this issue um, still I have a newer issue um, with this wall um, maybe it's too much ok so like this that's that's ok yeah that's better it, uh, it doesn't overlapping uh, our wall so that's fine and now maybe if you like to fix this hole we have here um, you can uh, shift select this edge and then go over mesh and choose fill hole it will it's supposed to create a new piece in between those uh, lines so that's that's for the bedroom wall uh, the bedroom walls yeah the room itself and uh, we will continue on the next uh, chapter for this uh, tutorial um, first of all um, before we going to uh, finish this um, 
chapter we are going to add this wall to a new layer so click on this um, click on this yeah the right one here uh, it will open you the channel box layer editor uh, you should select the bedroom uh, walls right and then go over this icon over here with the blue ball and uh, some spark of light and choose it it will create a new layer from the object you selected and then you can double click on the name layer one and give it some nicer name and uh, let's call it bedroom walls bedroom walls uh, choose some color just for the label it's not color for the walls itself it's just for the label of it and then um, when we we're going to continue this tutorial um, we 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 don't want the 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 bedroom walls to interfering us uh, modeling inside so then you can uh, uncheck the V over here and make it disappear for a while and don't worry if you save this work um, right you can you should save the work so go over file save scenes as and make sure that you are really at the, at the bedroom uh, project and just give it a name uh, maybe bedroom again okay and save as and don't worry if it's unchecked here um, it, it will save the the model itself uh, you always can reveal it by clicking on the V but just for the for now uh, we will uncheck it and we will continue on the next tutorial on the next uh, chapter of this tutorial and modeling the inside uh, the interior itself for this room so uh, we will uh, meet again at the next uh, video see you bye